Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this new video on how to use close up pine. This video is part of a video series on mental health problems. And for those of you looking for more information, check out the playlist in the description after watching this video, of course. And for those of you I'm meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul. I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewers, because I believe that medically educated people make healthier decisions, which is the whole point of this video and my entire channel. This video also comes with a quick disclaimer. It's meant purely informative. This is not medical advice. And if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. And now quickly, let's get learning. The generic name of this medication is Clozapine, but it's sold under the brand names Clozaril and Liponex. And it's available as a tablet and a drink. Which brings us to how to use this medication. If you want to use it as a tablet, make sure to swallow it with half a glass of water. And if you want to use it as a drink, make sure to use a measuring cup or a measuring spoon and measure the correct amount and drink this amount. Now for the duration of treatment, this depends on the severity of your symptoms and the indication of use. But usually if clozapine is effective for you, your doctor might prescribe it six months upwards to 24 months and sometimes even multiple years. Clozapine itself is part of a group of drugs called antipsychotics and it has a strong effect on several receptors in your brain, among which your noradrenaline, dopamine, parasympathetic and antihistamine receptors. And it can be used to treat several mental health conditions like treatment-resistant schizophrenia, treatment-resistant psychosis, psychotic disorders and Parkinson's disease, and delirium and Parkinson's or Lewy body dementia. Normally, I would discuss the correct dosage to use in this part of the video, but unfortunately, I can't do so for clozapine, as the dosages differ too much. These depend on the specific indication of use, the side effects you're experiencing, and the severity of your complaints. Usually, however, your doctor starts you off with a low dose and then quickly builds up your maintenance dose. And then over time, your maintenance dose will be adapted based on the blood levels of clozapine you're having and your symptoms. Therefore, always use the prescribed amount and frequency your doctor gave you. Now, as you might know, clozapine is a very effective drug, but it can have some serious side effects. I will discuss some of the most common ones here, but if you're looking for a complete list, check your leaflet or ask your pharmacist or doctor. Very commonly, more than 10% of all patients might experience somnolence, dizziness, constipation and a fast heart rate. Commonly, so 1% to 10% of all patients might experience changes in your blood values, dry mouth, a low blood pressure, a high blood pressure, stomach and intestine compliance, weight gain, a headache and sweating. And uncommonly patients might experience stuttering or even falling. Next up we're discussing safety and be careful to combine clozapine with alcohol as alcohol might increase the dazing effects of clozapine. Secondly, be careful when driving when you're using clozapine as again, it might cause dizziness, dazing effects and so forth. If you experience any of these, then please do not drive. Furthermore, smoking cigarettes decreases the effectivity of clozapine. Therefore, always discuss this with your prescribing doctor. And lastly, clozapine can have some interactions with other drugs. Also discuss this with your prescribing doctor. As you might know by now, we end these videos off with discussing the safety of this drug when pregnant or when breastfeeding. And unfortunately, clozapine can be dangerous in both cases. However, there are some exceptions. So again, if you're pregnant or if you're breastfeeding and you want to use clozapine, always discuss this with your prescribing doctor. Now, I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section and I will do my best to answer all these questions. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. This will help out the channel tremendously. Consider subscribing so you will never miss a video again. And for those of you that want to keep on learning, check out the playlist in the description or up there. Now lastly, before you go, I recently made an Instagram account at How to Medicate. Please follow me there for weekly updates and posts. Thank you all and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye bye.